like I know I look like a zombie but sometimes I, I like to look kind of dead let me do Sarah turn your brain on just throw away that godforsaken dog toy only to it's the only toy that I have eh? I gotta take away the toy that's all I got is going to be all about my favorite eyeliners and I'm using different kinds of eyeliners. I've got a pencil one, I've got gel eyeliners and a liquid eyeliner and so I'm going to just go through and tell you all of my favorites and what I like about them and also give you kind of a value breakdown on um, the gel liners because I feel like that's the most commonly used. If it bothers you that I have nothing on my lips right now, it's not even that I'm lazy, it's just that like, as much as I love buying lip products and looking at them and swatching them, I don't always like to wear them. I'm like very weird about what is on my lips and sometimes I just like to look like a zombie. I mean, that's cool with you, right? So I'm gonna start off talking about the pencil liner that I wanted to show you guys. So when it comes to pencil liners, everyone's a little bit different in what they like. I really don't like the ones that are, um, wooden generally just because they tend to be really terrible formula. I remember when I was younger I would like sit in my car and take my pencil eyeliner and set it in front of the heat vent in my car to like make it soft because those formulas are just so stiff and they don't transfer very well and it's just they're no good so I don't have time for that and that's not what I'm about so a couple things about what I like in an eyeliner in general I like it to be matte I don't like any kind of shine and not just matte I'm very picky and princessy about what kind of matte I have I really like a velvety matte if you know what I'm talking about but what I mean by that is um, a matte finish that looks soft it's not like harsh and it's not kind of gray because some matte blacks can be a little bit gray too which is no good with that in mind all of the products that I'm going to show you today fall under those categories so if that's something that you like in a liner as well this might be helpful for you so I'm going to start with the um, drugstore version of what eyeliner I like so this one is by Jane and it is from Ulta it's five dollars I think five or six dollars I think it's six dollars and it's just the twist up kind and it is so velvety and smooth it goes on like butter and it just it just looks so nice and smooth you can do if you like the velvety look and you you're like well I have a liner and I don't want to like not use it because I have it but it's not velvety and it's not that soft matte black you can set just about any liner with a powder eyeshadow. If you have something really, really dark black like Corrupt by Makeup Geek or um, the one by, um, what is it, Morphe, I forget what it's called. You can set that, just take like a short shader brush or like a flat brush and just where you've put the liner, set it with that powder eyeshadow and it's going to help soften that black and make it a little bit more velvety looking. So if you like pencil eyeliners, this is what I recommend. Um, it actually compares a lot to um, an eyeliner that Stila makes. It's actually a double-ended product. So I bought this probably literally eight years ago and I don't use it anymore. I haven't used it in years, but I keep it because I just, I, I love the formula of this liner so much and it's a twist up just like the Jane Cosmetics um, and I kept it because I wanted to find a liner that I could compare to this one and have it be the same, have it be the same creaminess, the same velvety texture um, and this Jane liner is exactly it. The only thing that I would say is different is A, the price obviously, but the Jane one does not smudge whereas the Stila one does smudge. So. For a lot less money, you're getting a product that stays in place better and looks exactly the same and behaves exactly the same when you apply it. So this one's actually, um, like I said, it's a double-ended, so it's got the liner on that side and it's got on this side this goofy little like shadow business. It's like a little sponge and then there's like shadow in there, apparently. They actually still do sell the just the eyeliner ones, I believe. So if you go to Sephora, they have it in the Stila section, it's the Kajal one is the really smudgy one. The next one I'm going to talk about is a liquid liner. Now there are two that I really really like. So they are the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and it's got the brush tip 
but it's kind of hard to find a brush tip that applies it in the way that makes it easiest, if that makes sense. So liquid liner, especially in like a pen form, it can be pretty intimidating to a lot of people and it can be definitely something to get used to, but if you're going to start, I would recommend this one or the Stila version of this. The tips are just a little bit different, the formulas are a little bit different, but I do like them both. Anyway, like I was saying, it's super important, at least to me, to find a tip that I really am comfortable with, and this is the one that I've found the most people are comfortable with, and if you've not used liquid liners very much, this is something that's very kind of intuitive and easy to get used to. Okay, so now we are down to my preferred version, which is the gel slash cream formulas. And I'm gonna talk about three different formulas because they are, in my mind, they're pretty popular and they're also pretty good, but I wanna compare them. I wanna compare them side by side, like value-wise and stuff like that. So the three that I'm gonna talk about are the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, and then I also have the Inglot, um, what do they call it, AMC Eyeliner Gel in number 77. Now this is the matte version. They have one that's supposedly not matte. I'm not sure exactly what it looks like, but um, this is the matte formula. And then the third one that I wanted to mention is the Fluid Lines by MAC. Now I want to give you a little bit of a guide if you're looking to purchase one of these three or something similar and you're like, I just don't know which one's better, which one's more worth it, which one is a better value. So I want to break it down for you according to price by volume. So the Maybelline Eye Studio one is, I get it from Ulta, but obviously it's Maybelline, it's a drugstore brand. This is $9.99 at Ulta. The Inglot eyeliner is $13, and I think you can get them at some Macy's stores, but I just order my Inglot online. And then the MAC Fluid Line is $16 if you don't have a pro discount. That's just the regular price. Now, with all of that information, you might say, okay, I'm going to go for the Maybelline Eye Studio, which I really don't have an issue with. Um, besides the fact that this one hasn't seemed as black lately, which I've mentioned, um, recently. Other than that, it's a good formula and it is the only drugstore option of the ones that I'm talking about. It's $9.99 for the pot and there are three grams of product in here. So basically, if you break it down, that's $3.33 per gram of product. So if you move up to the Inglot version, this is $13 but you get 5.5 grams of product and you can even see just by comparing the two next to each other, if you can kind of look at them, like you can tell there's so much more product in this one. It's almost double. So it's 5.5 grams of product and that breaks down to $2.36 a gram. And the third option that I talked about, the MAC Fluid Line, which I don't have on hand right now, is $16 and you get three grams of product, same size as the Maybelline one. So that breaks down to $5.33 a gram. So if you look at it in terms of value and how long a product is going to last you before you run out and how much you're actually getting for your buck. It turns out that the Inglot version is actually the best value. And I have to say out of the three, this is probably my favorite formula too. Um, just because it is the deepest black, it's matte, and like I said, it's velvety. So long story short, my hair switched sides. Oh, huh, that's weird. Long story short, I highly recommend the Inglot Gel Liner if that is the formulation that you would like to go for. I just wanted to talk about those three different types of eyeliners and give you guys some of my opinions and some of my experience. If you guys have tried any of these or if you have another one that you're absolutely in love with, let me know down below. I would be really happy and interested to hear what you guys think about eyeliners. And I have a couple tutorials coming up in the next coming days, weeks, whatever. Um, I've had a couple requests for tutorials and then I have a couple other ones that I have in mind already. So stay tuned for those and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I would be more than happy to have you and let me know if you have any more requests down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.